Welcome back. For this week, you should be watching the lectures for Lesson 2 and Topics 1 and 2 in Lesson 3 in Module 4 about metamorphosis and insect structure and function. The insect structure and function is really about the morphology of the insect. As for assignments, your tobacco hornworm. If your tobacco hornworm hasn't hatched or you haven't observed eclosion at this point in time, you need to bring it back into Entomology Hall and I will provide you with the replacement. And this is a good thing to mention at any point in time if your tobacco hornworm dies, please let me know as soon as possible so that I can provide an additional hornworm for you to make observations with. If you have questions about your new pets, you can post them to the discussion board or send me an email directly. If you haven't picked up your hornworm yet, please come by Entomology Hall on Monday or Tuesday. Coming up, the next assignment will be the designer insect assignment. For this assignment, you need to list the challenges faced by a predatory insect living in the sea. We've talked about how insects are virtually absent from marine habitats, so you should be very familiar with what some of the challenges might be. You then need to design an insect that could survive in this habitat. And you also need to explain all the adaptive features that will help it to be successful in this habitat. For example, what does it look like? We've learned about the key body parts of an insect. What does it look like with respect to the head, the thorax, the abdomen? What special appendages might it possess that will allow it to be successful in this habitat? And then provide a scientific name. So identify the genus and the species name for your insect and the name should reflect some unique aspect or quality of your designer insect. Please post this to the assignment tool by March 23rd. As for the second examination, um, it will be available starting Thursday, March 11th through Wednesday, March 24th. Note that we do have an extended time period and that's because of spring break. You will be able to take it between 8 a.m. and 4.30 p.m. in the entomology main office, which is 202. If you need to make special arrangements to take the exam, please let me know. Again, here are some important study tips for the next examination. As always, I would encourage you to download the topic outlines, the PDF versions of the lectures, so that you can take notes as you listen. Be sure to look over the learning objectives and go over the review sheet. Um, it's really important that you look over this review sheet because it outlines the key points that I will be focusing on for the examination. Again, use repetition. We're still going over insect orders. We've learned a lot of new terminology and so having this repetition is going to make it easier for you to remember these key concepts. Ask questions. If you have questions about any topic um, that you're uncertain about, please feel free to get in contact with me. I'm also available for office hours if you'd like to come in and talk to me in person. Keep up the good work and again, don't hesitate to contact me if you have questions and have a great week.